What's up guys? In this video today, we are going to extend our add component form to have some kind of state so that we can you know, clear it out when the comment add button is clicked and also we will see how we can add our comments here. Right now, we are not going to make any API calls and save it to the database. However, we did see how to make an axios call to the controller in the future video i will install passport and create the component sorry the comments module and start saving it but right now let's just concentrate on first getting our react part of things done properly so inside our comment add component right we can see that we have a value and we are changing it in the text area and then sending it when the click button is, you know we are doing a click however we would also want to empty the value when the add uh, or rather the comment button is clicked right so something like adding a new comment when I click it should get empty and I should see the comment here so how do we do that as you can see we don't have any state in here we just have a variable however if we change that for example value is equal to let's say it's comment and on, on this on click right we can do something like this from a comment equals empty however the problem is hit refresh so you see it's not changing because uh okay comment is equal to this and value because this is not reactive so you know, we are not able to do that however we need some kind of state to you know manage that so we will use the use state function from react okay this allows us to have some reactivity inside our functional component or the stateless component so we'll get some kind of state and so for that what we do is we create a constant okay named comment and set comment okay and then i think it was uh, set state or use state i think it should be use state and then empty okay so we have comment we can get rid of this this is fine and then we do set comment empty now let's see what happens if everything is fine we should see okay this is not working comment is read only and reason for this is I cannot do comment now it should be set comment function so basically in this we define the first key as the value and the second one is the function which we will use to set that variable so now let's hit refresh comment and on the hit of comment button we do see that it's being emptied so with the basic thing done right now we can focus on let's say this is our handle comment uh, comment submit i will have a constructor where we say that this dot state 
is an object where comments is an empty array or rather why don't we at first add two comments one is id one and let's just say comment text is this is my first comment and we add the second one so we have a we have an array of comments okay and why don't we now render those comments right so we can do something like render comments okay and in this we will deconstruct the comments from the state so it's comments and then comments dot map we will use the map function to iterate through each comment as comment and then we can return some bit of markup right now i will send a div why don't we send it inside the bracket so div comment okay and in that comment dot comment and for key we will use comment dot id okay we can also deconstruct these two things here so why don't we also do that so id comma comment equals comment things will be a little more easy to read okay and what is the problem oh i think i did a little bit of view js there i think the key there comes as a colon uh, what is the problem here hmm. so it says comment has already been declared right so why don't we do this as caption or body that should be fine okay so in here we'll have body now let's just see we have a successful build hit refresh okay can't set property state of undefined where am i doing a set comment group is it comment group this dot state oh i'm sorry inside the constructor the first thing which you need to do is do super dot super and pass the props now it is fine oh and render comments it is going to give me an error because i'm not returning anything and i may have made a mistake with the syntax as well yes i think so first things first let me see if it is it is oh i haven't done this so this will be required however i'm right now thinking if I can directly render comments here, then why do I need comment list? I can rename it to individual comments. So we can actually do that. So for now, let us first see if this is working. Okay. Yes, it does. Which means I can do one thing. We will make it. Uh, let's just rename it to. comment okay yes i know it will fail so inside that we will have these two as comment and inside comment group we'll have only comment which we are not using right now but we can do it here right 
uh, we can what if I do this let's just remove this for a second hit save and let's just first see if we are able to get that yes it doesn't have a key that's what I wanted to see so key is ID we will again send body equals body so it's a prop okay and let's just go here this is extends now I can make it a functional component but I know there will be some functions for edit and all so we will not get into that however I'll need the props so why don't we do this uh, and then this dot props so I should be able to now do this hit save and now let's just see yes so we did a quick refactor we were initially thinking of rendering a list of component uh, comments inside a you know the comment list but then we saw that we can easily get away with that with, with this render function and we are passing uh, the params to the comment so we really don't need that uh, comment list but rather we will have a single comment uh, component so we refactored that and now in here I have response data right and what do we get in response to data? So comment. We get the text, right? Hmm. So um, what we can do is in here um, we will do let comments equals this dot state dot comments okay we have this or let me see there is a nice way of adding things I, I will show you that get the array and then comments dot unshift response dot data but we also need the ID so ID is something which I need to pass and uh, the second thing is body where we will send this and ID will be comments dot length plus one so let's see whether okay and once we have this I think this dot sets uh, sorry this dot set state comments is comments so this should update the state and let me refresh add one hmm it says this cannot read property state of undefined that's strange I think it is not getting this right so it's a problem of closure will this help let me see no it is not working I think it is not getting this we can bind it inside the constructor I guess right because this fu this function is being called inside the template so if if you come across these kinds of problems this is typically because we don't have the context so you can do something like this and ideally now it should work
Okay. Objects are not valid as React child. Hmm. So I did an object dot push. It's an array, so that should be fine. This dot comment, this dot state comments comments. I did an unshift. I think the problem is that the response gives me comment back and so I need to get that instead of body so hit refresh I'm sorry about that uh, yeah so we are able to add the new comment on top right so what is happening right now let's just recap everything because I know I had made a few you know mistakes in between and that may have caused some bit of confusion so first things first Initially, we were not able to clean up the variable for comment. Okay, when the button was clicked, we have the value of the text area as comment. But whenever we are making it empty, it was not getting updated because it was not inside the state. So React was not able to understand that the variable has changed and it will not uh, react accordingly. So to get some bit of state in our functional component, we introduced something called use state. Okay, this is uh, something new in React. Okay, previously we were not able to get functional components to have state behaviors, but now with this we can have basic steps, uh, basic step uh, state. Sorry, but now with functional components using use state we can have some bit of state inside those components so we used that we have comment as the state variable and the set comment as the function which we will use to set the value of that particular variable okay so we did that on the click of the button we are making it empty whereas on change you know the value is changing using the set comment function now we were already sending the data back to handle submit so what we did we created our state for the comment group we added two dummy or rather hard coded comments into it so inside the save we send the response and when we are getting back the response we are you know creating this uh, array as comments okay because we do not we don't want to directly modify the state we can't do that so we get the array okay we add our new value we do unshift which means it will put it on the top or the start of the array right and then we do a set state so that the comments is updated and the moment the comments is updated we can see it on the list so adding one more comment should result in showing it here and one thing which we can also do is if we go into comment.js let me put this markup and in here i will render body okay i had some dummy mark markup with me so if i hit save now come back here we have some bit of comment rendered properly using card so this is a nice way one more comment and it should render like this so this is what we want in the end you know, saved to the database and fetching them from the database through an axios call so that's what we will do in the next episode but for now this is it thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.